Okay, today we are going to talk about how to create an APA formatted paper using Google Docs. So we'll start from the very beginning. I have Google opened here. I'm signed in. So if you don't have a Google account, you'll need to set one up. But let's say you're already signed in. What you would do to get to Google Docs, and you probably know this already, but I'm just going to cover all the basics of everything. So we go right here, and you would click Docs. I'm going to start with a blank paper here. So the first thing I would do is uh, go, I would put up here, I would create a title for this. I'll just say my sample paper APA. You can call it whatever you would like to call it. Then I'm going to set the font to Times New Roman 12 point. That's a very standard APA font. There are others that could be used as well, but I like to use that one. It's very standard. The next thing I would do, we need page numbers, and the APA standards for page numbers has, uh, have become a lot simpler than the 6th edition. The 7th edition, they just want a page number over here. So I'm going to go to Insert, and then we're going to go down to Page Numbers, and we want this one that's just 1, 2, just regular numbering. So there we have it. The page numbers are set up. And uh, one other thing we'll have to do, let's go to Format. And we're going to set up line and paragraph spacing. The whole paper should be double spaced. So we'll set it to double spaced. So there's your basic format set up there. And uh, now we'll set up the title page. So you want to return a few times, maybe return three, maybe four times. I think four times is kind of the standard. We'll center this and we'll make this text bold and I'll type in the title of my paper. So the title of my paper. So whatever the title of your paper is, you would put that there in bold centered. Return a couple of times down here, About two times. I'll take the bold off. Then I'm going to put my name in. If you want to put your middle initial, that's the standard for APA. They like to see the middle initial, but that's up to you. Then we put the school you're at. Like that. Then we're going to put the, the course we're in. Let's put the course number, and then I also put the title of the course. Then we put the instructor's name. And then uh, the date the assignment is due. Probably You could probably put in the date that you're typing the paper, but APA says what this really should be is the date the assignment is due. And spell this date out. And you got to be careful. See how it, how it change that format on us there so this uh, they do they try to do a lot of thinking for you so and that won't be correct so i'll just spell it out this time and i won't take their suggestion okay so there we have the title page set up and we got our page numbers up there we're going to go to the first page i'll just return till we get down to the first page of the actual text of the paper there we go. We see the page numberings working. We have that there. So on the uh, the page, let me remind myself what I actually titled this. The title of my paper. So I'll use that again. So at the first page of where the text begins, the title of my paper. And we're going to make that bold. Okay. Now let's return down. Let's take the centering off. We're going to indent. I know this is kind of a basic thing, but a lot of students I see miss this. Uh, web pages generally don't use indentation, but if we're still in the world of writing a paper, no matter what you're using, you're going to have to indent for your paragraph. So we hit the tab key and this, whoops, and I still have my bold on, so we'll make sure we take that off. This is where the text of my paper will actually begin. It will be formatted just 
like a normal paper typed up in Word. So then you're just going to write your paper. I'm not going to cover all the citation styles and things like that. I'm just talking about how to format this paper. There are other videos I have out about how to do uh, APA citations, in-text citations. So this is basically how you set it up. We will cover here. Let's go and talk about your references list. So here's your paper. We're going to return down here to another page. And we're going to, going to set up our references page here. So I'll center this. And um, we will type in references, make that bold. Okay, take the bold off. And here is where Google Docs is pretty easy to use, but when you get into creating citations, it's I don't personally don't think it's at all as easy as Word. So here is where it's going to get a little tricky. You might want to format things first in Word because Word is very, I find Word a lot easier to edit things in and you will always have to edit your citations no matter what service you're using to create them. But let's assume you don't have Word. A lot of people who want to use Google Docs are you doing so to try to save themselves some money on buying Word. So we'll do the edits here in Google Docs. It's a little bit clumsy, a little clumsier than Word. So let's say I have some articles. I'm going to go into an EBSCO database here. This is a class on public health, so I've run a search for public health. Let's grab some articles here. So I'll go into this first article, and we'll hit the Cite button in EBSCO, and it will bring up a sample citation for us. There's APA 7th edition. I will copy this, and when we put it into the Google Doc, we'll have to do a bit of editing to make it look right, because it will look a little weird when we go in there. So I've copied it. I'm going to paste this in. Okay, first thing you notice, the font is off, the font size is a little off, and there's this weird background highlighting. So the first thing I'm going to do, I want to get rid of that highlighting. I would highlight all of this, and then I would go up here to highlighting, and I would say none to remove that highlighting. Okay, also if you notice, the text is a kind of like a gray color. It's not black, a standard black, so I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to go up here to the text color and just make that a standard black there. Notice how it got darker. Okay, while we have it set up here, let's set the font to the rest of the paper, which is Times New Roman, and then 12 point. Okay, so there are the basic, thing, basic things. Now we need to do some editing here. You know uh, in APA, the title is written in sentence text, so it's written as if it's a sentence. So just like a sentence, the first word is capitalized. Nothing else is capitalized unless it's a proper noun after the uh, colon for the subtitle, the capitalization starts again. So there's a lot of these words then would not be capitalized. And in Word, it's very easy to highlight um, letters and make everything not capitalized all at once. But in, in Google Docs, I don't know of any way to do that. In Google Docs, if you hold down this letter you highlight and you hold down Control, your Control key like you would do in Word, you hold down Control and try to highlight another letter, it doesn't work. It, you, you can't, as far as I know, you can't do more than one. Now, there are there is this thing in Google Docs, if you click add-ons, you can apparently go in here to add-ons and you can, you can download some add-ons to Google Docs to make it do some of the things Word does. But on mine, mine is a kind of a company subscription here. I, I can't download anything extra to it. So I find that when we get into references is where it gets more complicated in Google Docs. But here we go. Let's just... I'll just highlight the words that should not be capitalized, and I'll just highlight them and type in the uh, uh, the lowercase yellow fever. I think that's debatable whether that would be highlighted. I'll I'll leave it I'll leave it highlighted. That's kind of a topic for another for another video. Maybe I'm not going to get into that, but I'll just leave it highlighted. Yellow fever. That's kind of a proper noun. Maybe not. And then after the the colon, we would rem take these down to lowercase as well. And here we go. And there we go. Okay, otherwise it looks pretty good. What we do need is, is a hanging indent. This line and this line, the second and third lines need to be indented over while this is over here flush to the left. So it's kind of like a backwards indent. It's called a hanging indent. What we're going to do, highlight all that. And then we're going to go to Format. And let's see where it is. Align and indent. It's always a little, it's a little different than Word, but Format align and indent and then it's not listed here so we'll go to indentation options and special indent will say hanging indent apply and there you go 
Okay, let's grab another citation. And this this link, uh, this is a DOI. The DOIs generally do not bring you full text of an article. They're kind of like ISBNs for books. It really probably will not bring you full text. So you could leave this live. It's not really going to be that helpful, or you could take this out. I'm going to take it out, but I'm going to wait till the end because it will keep adding it in. Okay, let's go back here and grab another citation. So you can kind of see Google Docs is pretty much the same as Word in a lot of ways until you get to the citations. I think it's a little more complicated when it gets to the citations. I'm just so used to how easy it is to do it in Word, but uh, it has a few other editing options, but maybe you can get those through add-ons. So I'll click Cite on this article, go down here to APA 7, grab their citation, and these citation creators that you find in databases and websites are generally pretty good as long as you know that they're not perfect. You will always have to change things with them. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we did before. Notice that weird highlighting there. We're going to highlight everything here. Go to highlighting, none. I'll change the text to a dark regular black there. Change the font, Times New Roman, 12 point. And then let's look it over and see what other kind of errors. Again, we have this capitalization issue. So I'll just highlight these. And it's a little slower in Word. I could do all these at one time, holding down my control key and just Making them, all, making them all lowercase in just a few clicks on my keyboard. But here you have to do this unless you can find some kind of an add-on. So we'll just do this. It's a little tedious. There we go. Otherwise, it looks pretty good looking at that. Okay, let's grab one more and then we'll, we'll call it a day on this. But let's go here to back to my result list. We'll just grab another citation here for another article. How about this one here? And I will grab my citation site right here. Go down to APA 7th edition. Copy this. Go back to the paper. Paste this in. And then we have to do the same thing again. So it's, I find, I find it very tedious, the editing in Google Docs, but yeah, that's okay. So I'll go to highlighting none it's not that bad once you get used to it text color make that a nice dark black Arial. let's take that times new roman and bump that up to 12 point now let's look at this the authors look good the year okay here's here's the title and again we need to do the same thing take these down to lowercase We'll leave Canadian uh, capitalized. I'll probably take this down to lowercase. And I'm just clicking on each one of those I highlight, and then I'm clicking the uh, the key on my keyboard, not capitalized. After the colon, we'd start the, the uh, capitalization over. That would not be capitalized there. Okay, and that, that looks good. Okay, so, and notice how it, it had the, the hanging indent and it was smart enough to know we wanted a hanging indent this time. I think it did it on that one too. I kind of forgot, I just forgot about it because I think it did it automatically. If you needed to do that again, what you would do is highlight it, go to format and then uh, align an indent. It's kind of tricky to find. You won't see it listed and you'll go to indentation options and you'll set up a hanging indent. Okay, now let's, let's, look at a couple of things here. We'll we'll deal with this last, making the links not live. So these have to be in alphabetical order. And in Google Docs, there is no sort option, which is strange that they don't have that in here. But again, if you want to, you can go into add-ons and you can search, get add-ons. You can search for a sorting type thing and you can download a sort a sort feature, I guess. I, I can't do that on mine. Uh, you can probably do it on yours if you're just using your personal Google account. But I, so I find that also strange that you can't just sort things alphabetically. But so we have to do it the old fashioned way here. So this one would be last. I'll highlight that control X on my keyboard. And let me actually put this down here. And then the one that starts with D is going to go first in alphabetical order. So a lot of cutting and pasting, not a big deal, but it certainly is more tedious than just working in Word. So if you're using Google Docs for convenience, 
I, I think it's good or because you don't want to buy Word, but if you're doing it because you think it's simpler than Word, I actually find Google Docs more complicated than Word to write a, an academic paper in. But it is certainly is convenient. Okay, so now let's say you don't want these links to be live. You can leave them live. It probably doesn't matter. This will not take you to the full text, though. This will just take you to the publisher's listing of this article somewhere. I'll remove the link right there, highlight this, and I will remove the link right there. Okay, so we've got a good looking paper here. That's the basics of how you set up a paper in Google Docs. If you want to get a link then to share this with your instructor or to post it somewhere, what you would do is click up here where it says share. And we would do this get link. But when we're going to copy the link here, this is the interesting thing. Now let's, this, is, this is where it's tricky because right now only people at my school can see this link. If I, if I click that, this is where this can be changed. And I didn't know this for a long time. And I used to post links to things and people would get back in touch with me and say, hey, I can't, I can't open these links. So what you would do is go right here. If you want this, to, I would recommend this, anyone with this link so it doesn't, it doesn't prevent anyone from seeing it. You could leave it to CSU Global and then only people at your school could view it. But if you're, I don't know, I tend to do this, anyone with the link and then I'm going to copy the link here to do that. So let's show that again. So when you go to share the link, it, it saved this here, but if you wanted to change this, I think before it had the name of the school there, you could change it and you could change the status of what the link is. I would go with this, anyone with the link to prevent it, to prevent your instructor or someone else getting in back in touch with you saying, I can't open your paper and then you have to go through all of that. But that's up to you and your instructor. So I would copy the link and then you could post this link in your course or whatever you wanted to do with it. So there is the basics of how you create a paper in APA format in Google Docs. It's pretty similar. It's, it's pretty easy. It only gets complicated and a little clunky when you get down to the reference list. So there you go. Uh, as always, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.